So, do you know God's commandments? Uh, the ones I read in the Bible. Love thy neighbor. You know there's 600, over 600 commandments. So it's more. Yeah. Is that just in that one Bible? Or are we talking about Angel? Or are we talking about Torah? Or are we talking about just the Bible? So 600 in there? Yeah. I'm going to search it. So, keep the Ten Commandments. Huh? Keep the Ten Commandments. I can't say I did. You got to keep all the commandments you got. And, uh, it's, about, it's about time, man. Anyway, get, get out of the case. The case. I'm going to show you something. Book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. Right, so we gotta confess our sin and forsake our sin. That's how we obtain mercy. Right, forsaking our sin and then confessing our sin. And how do we repent? Get peace. Just this, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5 and verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the hope. Right, make no tarrying. Don't wait to turn to the most high. Right, don't, don't take your time. Huh? Go ahead. And put not off from day to day. Right, don't put not off from day to day. Right, you got to turn to the most high right now. You feel me? Right, go ahead. For suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh come forth. For the most, the most high's wrath come forth suddenly. And what is it? What is his wrath? What is his wrath? Right, judgment. Right, when, when, when you call accident, that's his wrath. Right? He might, he might kill you right now. That's his wrath. Right? So we gotta suddenly, suddenly his wrath comes. So we gotta make haste and turn to the most high. Look at Psalms chapter 119, verse 6. I made haste and delayed not right, to I'll, keep thy commandments. Right, we don't delay to keep God's commandments. We gotta make haste. Right, once you hear this word, all right, this word should, should comfort your soul. Right, this you be baptized right now by the word. That's right. right. You understand? So you gotta make haste and keep the commandments. Right, and repent. How do you repent? Keeping God's commandments, He's obeying His word, right? And and this is the action. This is how you repent. So we go First Kings chapter eight and verse forty-six. No. If they sin against me, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, away captive. Right. So we have sin against the Most High. Right. We have sin. Go ahead. Unto the land of the enemy far or near. Right now we're in the land of our enemies. We're in America. It's not our land. The white man possess the slaves. So we're in the land of our enemies. Go ahead. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. We got to bethink ourselves. Go ahead. In the land, whether they were carried captives uh -huh. and repent. Right, and, we, and repent. Yeah. Right? We got to think upon what we done did. Right? Confess our sins. Right? right? And think and repent. Go ahead. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, uh -huh. saying, We have sinned. Right? You, you, that's, got, that's confessing your sins. Right? That's the that prayer you got to do. Right? You got to tell the Most High you're a sinner. You got sin. That's true humility. Right? Humble yourself. Don't come to the Most High how you want. You feel me? You're coming, you coming before your Creator. Right? You got to come with respect. Right? And, and humble yourself down. Right? By saying you sin. Right? Having that shame. That's being having humility. Okay? We have sinned and have done perversion. Uh -huh. We have committed wickedness. Uh -huh. And so, return thee with all their heart and with all their soul. We got the, to return with all our hearts and with all our soul. Okay? In the land of their enemies, uh -huh. which led them away captive. Right. And pray unto thee toward their land. Uh, we got to pray to the Most High toward our land. That's right. So, not the fake Jews. That's right. They stole our land. Just like the white men go everywhere still and destroy us. Right? He came to America with the water and the indigenous people. He was a free of white people. Right, they said everything they go everywhere and say Jews. I was going to do that because I was trying to get confused about the whole thing. When we say Jews, and then we say Israel. We say Israel because that's just the land of the people. That's Israel, you know what I'm saying? But then when we say Jew, I think of religion automatically. And then, you know what I'm saying? You think of Judaism? Judaism or just Jew, Jewish. Just but, but check this out. Jew is identity. Right, so being a Jew means you will be from the tribe of Judah. Right, that's our identity as a tribe, part of a nation. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? It's part of a nation. It's not a religion. Mm -hmm. The white men turn it into a religion, but it's not a religion. But uh -huh. Most High never gave us a religion. That's right. Judaism and they, you know, Most High did them. Because I, I recently just converted to Islam. And that's what made me what? ask these questions. Islam? Yeah. But why you converted to Islam? Well, I converted to Islam for a reason, though. Because now I'm now I'm ready to now I'm ready to move on to another section too. Because I still want more studies done. I, I'm not going to stay in one section. I was Christian. I got baptized. You know what I'm saying? And still follow Jesus in Islam. Believe it or not, because he's Isa in Islam. Well, let me tell you. you know what I'm saying? There's multiple names he has. Let me tell you something. All these religion men, they ain't ours. Right, 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 right. Islam is the Arab religion. Let, let them deal with their religion. You feel me? Islam, uh, Christianity, right? The white men took it over. Let the white men have it. Right. right. You gotta keep God's right. commitment. Right. You gotta follow Jesus after your way, what the Most High gave you. Right. right? All the other nations, they got their own thing. They doing their own thing. But the only reason we're in this religion is because they force it on us. Right? We grow up Christian, Islam, all these people. That's right. Right, and also, yes. Let me show you an issue about this. Right, so this one, they say Muhammad is a prophet. Right. Who did God choose to be prophets? His children, right? And who are his children? He wants to keep his commitments. This is Amos 2 and 11. And I raised up of your sons for prophets. Read it out loud. This is Amos 2 and 11. And I raised up of your, your pro sons for prophets. Most I say he raised up of our sons for prophets, man. <clears throat> and of your young men for Nazareth. Uh, young men for Nazareth, man. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel? Yeah, Romans 9. Ye children of Israel. Right. Are the prophets of God. The most high chosen among Talk our about people. It. Israelites to be prophets. Yeah. Mohammed was not an Israelite. You understand? He, he, he was a damn. Uh, he was whether he was a white man or a Christian. Like when you say, you say he said he said he raised up your sons, right? Right. As in you, you, you. Right, right. Then. Whether you was Muhammad or you were no, 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 no. He's speaking to the children of Israel. Okay. Right. So the sons within the children of Israel, most likely to choose them. Just them. Just them. Right. This is Romans 9 and verse 4. Who are Israelites? Uh, who are Israelites? Go ahead. To whom pertain the adoption? Uh, go ahead. The glory. 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 Go ahead. The covenant. Uh, the giving of the law. Right. The service of God. Right. right. And the service of God was given to Israel. Pertain. That's right. We are the one that served the Most High. That do the Most High service. Not no other nation. Huh. Right. Because Muhammad, when he came, he he started changing things around. Bring it out. Right. He tried to force the Jews. To Check this out, he's trying to force the original Jews, right? The real Jews to, to follow his religion. That's right. Them Jews look like look at him like hell no. Nah. Right? Cause back in them days, man, our people wasn't even with, with, with that foolishness, man. They hate they had, they had a hatred for the other nation. Right. Right? We look at these other nations like nothing. Right? For them trying to come convert us to their religion, we we gonna size them, you feel me? And like you ain't nothing to us. Right? We follow our God. But when Mohammed saw the Jews refused to follow his religion, he said, you either accept the Quran or you get the swords. That's what Mohammed did. He forced the religion of our people. Right? In Africa, the reason a lot of black people uh, are in Islam, because the damn Arabs, the sub Saharan, sub -Saharan slave trade, the damn Arabs, the damn Arabs, they enslaved almost most of Africa. Right? They enslaved from Africa and made people become Islam. This is Exodus 4 22. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son. That's right. So Israel is God's son. 
Nah. Right, not Muhammad. So we already show you that Muhammad ain't no prophet. Right? Right, right. right. Son. So who, who, what are we, what are we here for? Like, are we against y'all or what is this about? You say, are we against y'all? No, not y'all, but us. Like, like, all right, for instance, like, say I'm not from Israel. You know what I'm saying? Am I against you because I'm not from there? Does that make me against you or does that make us, you know what I'm saying? What does that mean to me? It makes it seem like we're not his kids because we're not from Israel. I mean, I've never been there personally, but no, no, you know what I'm saying, I can't no, no, see no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, we are descended on this one. Okay. We are descended, so it don't matter. It don't right. really matter where you're born at or where you live. It's who you descend Right, we got forefathers, and the most high dealt with our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He chose to be dealt with them, and two generations pass it down to us. Right, were his, this were Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob descendants, right? And Mosai chose his lineage, right? He didn't, he didn't just choose, he didn't just choose the man, he chose us, his people. We got kicked out of that land, right? Now, we got kicked out of that land, now we're asleep. There's a great awakening. We're being woke to who we are, right? Because right? when you read Genesis, right? Genesis 2, right? You read about Adam and Eve in the fruit, right? These things are not literal, right? Adam and Eve, they went and learned from other people. That's what it's dealing with the fruit. They dealt with the, they ate their ideology, right? They ate it, they, they dealt with them and learned from them, right? And then when they learned from them, they find out they were in sin. Right. right? They found out they were in sin, and by, when they know they were in sin to cover their shame, they went into more ideology. Right. So that's how people, our people know they're naked, right? Just like they were naked in the in the garden, our people are naked right now. Like so, wow. right now, so, yes, yeah. Spiritually, we're naked. So, no more naked. We have that shame. So that's why our people go to different religion try to cover the shame. But. This is what all we need, right? This is all we need, right? Renaissance. Let's book of John. Let's look at John, chapter 3 and verse 20 in the NLT. In the KJV, it says, For every one that doeth evil hateth the light. Uh, everyone that hateth, that doeth evil hateth the light. Man. Neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. All right, so people that do evil, they know they're wrong. They, they don't want to come to the light because the light is going to shine on them and they, they wickedness is going to be seen. Right, that's why they hate the light. All right, so, all right, so all these religions, so, so all these religions, check this out. So all these religion men pre following, we gotta let them go, right? We gotta, listen, we gotta let them go. It's not the way, it's not the right way, right? We gotta follow what most high level of us obey and keep it, right? That's how we make our ways possible, right? Like I told you, this is the key of life. You know what I'm saying? This is all we need it to, to live our life, right? right? And you see now, forefathers kept it, and they were great. And so, like, you're familiar with the dietary law, right? Um, Certain things we can't eat. Oh, yeah. Right, like rats. Right, like shellfish. Shellfish. Right. You familiar Pork. with that? Get numbers. Dragons. Let me show you. Let me show you. Now, let me ask you. You celebrate birthdays, uh, holidays. Yeah, it comes up. I'll be thankful for it, you know. But you got to let that go. I hear we're not supposed to do that. Either. Right. You can't celebrate. You can't celebrate. We just can't pass over. Right. Say we got to keep moving, right? There's holy things, right? So, and also, you understand. You understand this. All these holy day, all these holidays in the world, they're lies. Uh -huh. Easter, bunnies lay eggs. That's a lie. Like, all this, man. Right? It's all lies. But we have pleasure in these things. You feel me? Christmas, a fat man will sneak in your house, give you gifts. It's a lie, man. I mean, you make oh. it funny. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But, but, I think people believe in these things, man. You feel me? 
I mean, it's fat people that you come there. <laughs> what a bag and all, but I get you. I you got you. grown people telling their kids the tooth fairy. I was about to say the tooth fairy next. Yeah, yeah you lose a tooth, put your tooth in that. Bring it up. Uh, I think we caught our mom a long time. Yeah. <laughs> right. But the most I gotta celebrate the destruction of our enemies. That's right. Celebrating our deliverance. That's right. That's it. In all these things, we praise the most high. That's the right. Tabernacle, we go camping. We go camping with our people, with our family. And that's a beautiful right. thing. You understand? Know but the most high law is perfect. Why right? we have pleasure in this day? Look at Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 1. Bring it out. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith Yahweh, right. learn not the way of the heathen. Right? The most high said, learn not the way of the heathen. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the dealing with zodiac sign. That zodiac sign is God. For the heathen are dismayed at them. The heathens are dismayed at them. For the that's the heathen ideology. That the heathen deal with that. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest. Right, that's dealing with Christmas. One cutteth a tree out of the forest. Go ahead. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. Right, one cutteth a tree out of the forest. They deck it with silver and with gold. So, most I tell you, don't do this thing. Don't celebrate Christmas. This is Christmas. Go ahead. They fashion it with nails and hammers that it move not. They're upright as the palm tree, but speak right. not. This is Numbers 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and beat them, that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Right, so you see everybody got fringes on, right? Fringes, what's a fringe? Right, so most I say, speak unto the children of Israel, beat them, that they put fringes in the border of the garments. So we got to put these in the border of the garments. Right, Christ brought them too. Right, the lady touched Christ's fringes and got healed. Right, you read that in Matthew. Throughout their generations, that they may put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now you got a ribbon of blue in there, right? And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Right, right. Once you look upon these, you remember the commandments of the Lord. Right. And by looking at the fringe. Yeah, yeah, it's going to remind you. Right. Oh, you got to keep God's commandments. Right, so, so you don't go off. Right, if you're about to slip off, you're going to see the fringe. You're going to see a fringe like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I ain't teaching you, right? I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, and do that. Yeah, I know they get their fucking And that you seek not after your own heart <laughs> and your own <laughs> eyes. Uh, that we seek not after our own heart and our own eyes. Right? Well, I know y'all so, be telling the truth. That's the whole thing. That I know. But well, I know they ain't playing. They go walk around and come over here playing. I respect them. I'm with that. That's why I fuck with y'all. Right? So I don't know what, what to say. But I'm here. I'm here. There you go. Uh, you know, you know, you know, we got to be well done. So, so that's the that's the dress code, and also our clothes, our clothing, got to be a hundred percent. Like the fabric got to be a hundred percent. We can't wear mixed fabrics, right? So that's the dress code that Musa gave us, right? Uh, and all these, all for our cut, right? Yeah, we're two elders, you brother. Um, how old is you? No disrespect. How old is you? You, are, you know, you amaze me. I'm 61 years old, man. I'm glad to see brothers like you so young. Not to here trying to do something stupid and got knowledge yourself. That's right. I respect people like that. Yeah, I'm 61, man. I just look y'all. I ain't smoke crack on that. It's the book of Leviticus, to the 19 and verse 19. Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with diverse with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed, neither shall a garment mingled of linen and, of, and woolen come unto, uh, upon thee. Okay. Uh, about that. So, um, are like, like, like what you said, you said with the fringes, when we see the fringes, it should make you remember the, uh, the commandments, right? Right, right. right. Um, and it makes me, you know, think about law again. Back to law. And I want to know, you got that new voice now. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like another law enforcement you've done to the world. What that means? When I see, if I see your friends, and the first thing I'm supposed to think is, law, hold up, I shouldn't be doing this, I shouldn't be doing that. That's what 
makes me want to know is this another uh, another agent? Another agent? Or are, are you another part of his agents? Because Satan has his own agents and God has mm. his own agents. No, 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 no. Check this out. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is the law of French is going to remind you to keep all the rest of the laws. The rest of the other laws, but I told you, there's over 600 commitments. Right. So that one law is going to remind you, it's there for a reminder to keep the rest of the laws. You understand? But what was your question? No, I, I, I want him to finish because he got a good question, believe it or not. Well, you because he talked about the fallen oh, yeah. angels and the people who had sex with the angels, they became men and they were different, they're different agents. That's right. Like, 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 you don't have all the information, but you're like, yeah, they're that you want to know. That are not the of light. You know what I'm saying? Look at Satan that will come to light. He's not of light. And that's his side. That's his agents. You know what I'm saying? They are wicked people. So that's what made me ask that question on the right side. I want to know. If the righteous ones are a part of an agency as well, are they agents too? Are they, you know, are they good agents versus really bad agents? We agents of the Lord. That's right. right. We work for the most high. You feel me? Uh, we're, we're put in this world to judge the world. Right? We're saints. Get get First Corinthians 6. Let's do Wait, I'm going to show you something. Look at First Corinthians. What? Oh, 6 verse 2. God. Do ye, do ye, sorry. do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? Right, so the saints shall judge the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't have too many times. Right, right. So that's the whole purpose of us. That's agents on the blue side. We're here, we're set here to judge the world. Right, because this world is full of wickedness. That's right. We're that, we're that light in this dark world. Right. Why is the most high still with us to judge the world to these angels? Why right? you need to give us knowledge and understanding on how to behave ourselves in this world, how to be in this world. Matthew to the 19 verse 28 and Yahweh Shai said unto them verily I say unto you that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the son of man shall sit in the throne of his glory ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel right. so the, the disciples are going to sit on twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel so that's us being an agent understanding God's laws I put his laws in our heart and his laws teach us how to be judged. They teach us how to quote righteousness and judgment. How to judge bad. So that's what the most I taught us. And the world do not get have more than one. One and four. So the world don't understand how to judge. Right? The world, like especially America, they don't they won't get gauge right. You feel me? But according to the laws of God and gave that's right. right. So that's a perfect law the most I gave you. And that's how we judge. And how we judge me. Right? Before judgment is done, before judgment is executed, you need to be witnesses. Alright? Uh, so that's how the most I told us how to judge. This is Habakkuk 1 and 4. Get out. Therefore, the law is slack. And judgment do it never go forth. So in this world, the law is slack. Right? Judgment will never go forth. Okay? For the wicked do it the past about the righteous. Right? The wicked go past about the righteous. The wicked people are judging, are judging in this world. Right? right? Wrong judgment proceeded. Right. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Right? Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded because we got a people that judging the people and they ain't supposed to be judged. We're the judge of the world. We're the judges. Right? And that's why Christ, he gave us a mouth that nobody can give shit against us. Right? 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 Look at Nahum chapter 3 and verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. Uh -huh, it's a bloody city. Go ahead. It is full of lies. Right? It's full of lies in this place. Right? Go ahead. And robbery. Uh -huh, and robbery. Go ahead. The prey departeth not. Uh -huh. Right? That's so, so, 
laws, right? It's full of robberies, lies, right? The laws of God is not being uh, pushed in this place, right? You got any more questions? And listen, I think y'all did a great job at answering the questions. So come on, Mr. Grace. Yeah. You got a flyer, though? Um, right. No, I don't got a flyer. I, I can take one, though. That's sad. That's all right. Sad. 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 Let's go to you. Is that in Spanish? Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, uh, thank you. Got it. 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 For there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. There be no rock for Islam. Check this out. In Islam, uh, in Islam, you gotta go to Mecca once in your life. Right? I'm telling you, you don't gotta go. Huh? Well, the Bible tells you that. Huh? The Bible tells you don't got some nothing you don't want to do. No, it's not you that. You said to do it if you didn't want to do it. No, no, it's not that. The Bible tells you don't buy down to a rock. Don't buy down to a rock. So, like, yeah, so, but in Islam, they want you to go to Mecca, circle around the rock. Kiss the rock, bow down to the rock. That's idolatry. Uh, the most I have an issue with everybody in there that's doing it. You feel me? So, and by doing so, it's against the laws of God. And the Quran tell you to read the Bible. Read the Torah. It does. It really does. So if, the, so if the Torah tell me not to deal with Islam, but Islam tell me to read the Torah, I'm so get. Get Isaiah 34 and 16. Bring it up. Bring it up. 20 and 1. And God spake all these things, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before thee. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or in the earth beneath. Right. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not right. bow down thyself to them. So the Bible says, Thou serve. shalt not bow down thyself to them. You be bending over to thy rock, you commit an idolatry. That's great. For I am the Lord thy God, for Moses is our God, and a jealous God. Book of Isaiah, chapter 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Right, so the Bible says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read it. This is the book of the Lord. We got to read this book. We got to seek here. Go ahead. For none, none of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. None shall want her mate. So the Bible, the Torah, it says, you Look, no other book is going to make this book. You don't need no other book. Right, this is God's word. You feel me? None shall want her faith. Right, so it, the Quran tells you to read. The Quran tells you to read the Bible, and the Bible says you got to read the Quran, so you got to stick with the Bible. And then you know it's crazy. The Quran also says do not. Uh, it, it tells us to follow gospel, but then it says again. It says um. Uh, it's a certain caption that they talk about in the Holy Bible that they say we're not supposed to be, such as the part when uh, Jesus was uh, when he was crucified. They try to make it seem like don't follow that, like he never was crucified, and it was a fake. Of course, the right, it makes it seem like they don't believe in sacrifice. In Islam, they don't believe in sacrifice, so they're gonna accept every sacrifice that's done in life. But the Most High requires sacrifice. The Most High God is the one that requires you to do sacrifice. Even our body got to be a living sacrifice. And that's to do good. Right, right. right. Well, good is the sacrifice. Right, right. Yeah. Bring yourself up against the enemy. It's a sacrifice. And you will live because you've done so. The most I always require sacrifice. So the Islam, like the Islam contradicts the Bible. There's a big issue here. Right. They contradict the Bible. Right? That's a book you can't do. Fair bring this up. So look at Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. Ye shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear up, rear you up a standing image, neither shall ye set up an image of a stone in your land. 
to bow down unto it. Right? He tell you all over the Bible, don't bow down to the stone, don't bow down to the image. You feel me? Because it, you better than the damn rock. That's right. right. You feel me? You better than that. Like, right. I go on. Bow down, son, you better than that. You feel me? So, like, we got to use wisdom. And the laws of God is wisdom. That's right. The laws of God let you know, don't bow down to the damn rock. That's right. Let the eating, let, let, let them eat. Let them bow down to the damn rock. Look up Jeremiah to the two verse twenty five in the GMT. Bring it out. Israel, well, Israel, don't wear your feet out, or let your throat become dry from chasing after gods, That's other right. gods. But you say, no, I can't turn back. I have loved foreign gods, right. and will go after them. But our people, they love the gods of the other nation. That's our promise. We love to go serve the other nation God. Right. Because our people, they always want to learn what these people do. Oh, let me just study what they do. And once you start studying what they do, you start into what they do. And now you're you sitting against your God. You're sitting against your God. You need more security. And that's how King Solomon fell. Because of his women. Right? His women turned his heart. So he buried, he buried all the nation of the girl. So like, right? He buried all the nation of the girl. And the girl made him basically. Might be the temple for the damn heathen God, right? And that's what happens when you want to come out with all the nations. You're going to fight for idolatry. And because of that, that's how we end up in captivity. That's how they end up in Because King Solomon wanted to follow after the other nations. Right. Yeah. Verse 27. Verse 26. The Lord says, just as a thief is disgraced when caught, so all you people of Israel will be disgraced. Your kings and officials, your priests and prophets. I am caught with shame, man. Just like a thief is caught when you know when somebody stole something, he got caught. That's your shame. You feel me? So that's the most I get. You will be a disgrace. You that say that a tree is your father and that a rock is your mother. Say a tree is our father, a rock is our mama. Like, why not do a rock like you? That's his hand. That's what his up is. This will happen because you turned away from me instead of turning to me. But when you are in trouble, you ask me to come save you. Where are your gods that you made yourselves? When you when you are in trouble. When we in trouble. We call on God. We don't call on God. Right. Right. We know. We know the rock ain't no power in our rock. We call on our God. The Most High God is the one that can control everything. That's right. The Most High God is the one that can deliver. Right. Go ahead. If when um you are in trouble, let them save you if they can. <laughs> Judah, you have as many gods as you have cities. that wooden cross. It's dealing with Christianity. And, then, and to the dumb stone. Right to the dumb stone. The, the dumb, dumb stone. stone. Right to the dumb stone. Islam is, a, is dealing with a dumb stone. When you speak about a stone, it's dealing with Islam. Alright. He shall teach. Right. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver. There is no bread. It is laid over with what? There's laid over with gold and silver. Right, you go to Mecca, you see they decorate that rock. I say it is lead, gold, and silver. Go ahead. <clears throat> and there is no breath at, the, at all in the midst of it. Uh -huh. But the Lord, Yahweh, is in his holy temple. Right, but the Most High is in his holy temple. Go ahead. Let all the earth keep silence before Let him. all the earth keep silence before the Most High, Yahweh. And everybody going to respect God. Everybody going to respect the creator of heaven and earth. All the other nation God and idols are nothing. Right. You got any more questions? Okay, listen, y'all did a good job, gentlemen. Gotta give it to you. Man. Oh, That's great. Right. 
This is Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. All right, so silver and gold, these idols ain't going to deliver us in the day when most High bring judgment. So most High about, about to start visiting this world. America ain't going to last forever. Feel me? Every kingdom has an end. Egypt, uh, Rome, uh, goddamn, uh, Assyria, Babylon, all these kingdoms, they came and went. The Bible says everything that has a beginning in this world has an end also. America has an end. And both sides destroy America. America's falling. Ain't no fix in America. Both sides are really about to visit America and destroy America. So when the both sides wrath comes, right? When his wrath comes, none of these idols are going to save us. Right, right, right. Yeah, man, so we gotta get better here, right? Ready? Right. Right. So look at Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right, we gotta repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see it? The kingdom is prepared for so called black and Hispanic. We, we need a kingdom, man. Right? We're gonna possess the kingdom of heaven. And we ain't gonna share the kingdom, we ain't gonna vote, right? We're gonna keep the kingdom from us. And, and also, I have to be a lot of water by the preach, right? If you wanna stay, you can stay. You gotta go buy a hoodie, it's cold out. This is the book of Cyrus, chapter 1, verse 22. Verse 22. And 11. Lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the Most High, and it shall bring thee more profit than gold. Right, we gotta lay up our treasure according to the commandments of God. How do we lay up our treasure in heaven? By doing charity and keeping God's commandments. That's how we lay up treasure in heaven. Right? Right, with that, give all praise to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shot. 